know, we're in a pretty good state. Um, it's very easy for people to, you know, hear a bad announcement and think things are bad. But if you really take a step back and look at everything that's going on in this community, the investment, the small businesses that are growing, we've got a lot of work going on in this city, and it's pretty exciting. We've uh, the city is ready for growth and advancement. The infrastructure work that the city has and continues to do is very important. Combining that with the collaboration of rail providers like Norfolk and Southern and CN, Transportation Network, the workforce, the rail, We've got all the pieces of the puzzle coming together and we're telling our story to the world. The time to live in Decatur and to own and operate a business in Decatur couldn't be better. If you listen to the speeches today, you learned about the strategic nature of what's going on within our community, all of the investments for our future. Some of them are infrastructure related, some of them are new business development like the Inland Port, the East Belt Beltway, which will allow for traffic patterns to change and hopefully allow for some more industrial expansion into the east side of the state, the city here. One thing that's major is that the city and the county are working together on trying to coordinate efforts to get money back into this community, like $177 million worth of projects, to really coordinate uh, growth in the northeast part of, of the city. So we've got major things we're asking for, and one of those is the Southeast Beltway and a connector to get all of the goods by road up to the interstate. You know, additionally, we have to fix the congestion, but we have to make sure that these things happen together. Otherwise, we're, we're not going to fix the problem. We'll only cause a new one. Community growth is a marathon, not a sprint. And every day you get up, you're going to have two steps, steps forward and maybe one step back. But you have to keep taking those steps forward. You have to get up every day. And every member of our community has a chance to change the impression of Decatur on somebody else. So we need all of them to help us do that. When you look at what the city has done in the downtown area with the redevelopment and all the incremental value that has come from that, the restaurants came, the restaurants are expanding, the food choices are, are there for their employees, there is expanded retail opportunities, so many things. That lakefront development is a, a huge opportunity and a huge showcase for us. So. Very excited about uh, living in Decatur these days. One of the best parts about Decatur is we are small enough for people to actually get problems solved, but we're big enough that we've got resources to depend on. We've got some major clout from our companies here that when we go to Washington, when we go to Springfield, people listen to us. And we've got a great group of leaders and emerging leaders that want to be involved and they want to make a difference in this community. This is home and this is a great place to be.